Apparently, today's episode is the reason why viral hit is a viral hit even though you know the character is hoping and them they basically already got a viral hit off their first stream but the point is people are hyping up this episode what happened at the end of the last episode basically i thought we had fans but they basically just robbed us in broad daylight and then they're like all right go make some more money so we can fucking rob you again they took our shit and i think there was some kind of karaoke bar and we're gonna go there and basically start a fight i don't really know how this is gonna work out hoping kind of learn how to take hits without taking damage and snappers already at the camera the entire time. Can we really fight that big dude? Let's find out in today's episode. The dates. Wait, this ain't date alive. <laughs> Let's keep filming, lol. Okay, learning more stuff how to fight. Okay, wait, wait, what? You want them to, if your opponent's right hand is stand on their left side. So that it's easier for them to raise their fist? Tensions rising. This is getting interesting, guys. So I guess the idea is to make sure that he uses his right hand, right? Making it easier for him. And then if we know we can read, then counter. <laughs> oh, that's on the face, though. That actually doesn't hurt. Well, it hurts, but not as, you know, as any other part. This is actually good guard, and then now his fit's gonna hurt. So you wanna, like, be early, right? Jump into the punch. Don't let him go all the way. Stop it here, is what he's saying, right? Get in there. That's actually scary, though. That's actually fucking scary. It's one thing to say that, yeah, just jump into the punch, but it's another to actually do it. You gotta have some balls to fucking jump into the fucking punch. All right, we learned it. <laughs> the chat's just like question mark question mark what right. pick him in the balls <laughs> oh don't threaten me with the good time that was left handed watch <laughs> here a boxing technique where you move your upper body around to dodge the punch of this peekaboo just go and then you hope that it doesn't land. Alright. We're weaving. Yeah, we're weaving, guys. I don't know, you tell me. Bro is looking like fucking Mike Tyson in that one clip. I'm sure you guys have all seen it where he's basically just going like this and just dodging fucking everything. Just by watching a video, you can do this? That's insane. He should be getting tired now, right? And once he's out of breath, then we fuck can go in for the kill. Wait, was that a cockadoodle do? Hold up, I heard a chicken sound. Yeah. You feel more brave, yeah? <laughs> Anytime soundtracks like this happens, I think of like MASH. The soundtrack in the show MASH. Wait, did you watch more though? That's it? Bro should have fucking watched another video. How the fuck are you just gonna watch this and go into a fight? We don't know how to fight. We know how to dodge and we know how to get hit without getting hit. That what? I see we just kick him in the fucking dick, take his phone and leave. One thing about this show I will tell you is the facial expressions. The facial expressions are fucking amazing. It's just so grotesque and it just kind of it's very realistic too I <laughs> snapper's not worried about hoping snapper's looking at the live viewership go down and he's like shit people are getting bored yo yo come on we need something different to spice up the stream <laughs> i thought he was worried for hoven you can't stall the video for too long how would you stop it bro oh i know Bets! Let them gamble, right? Have a, some system where people are gambling and betting and donating to see who is gonna win and then they pay off, just like the gamble time we do on stream, you know? Then the viewers start engaging and then you don't have to do anything. Yeah. Oh, it's the super chatter! Mr. Ding! <laughs> wow, we! Who knew he was in this class too? And everyone's like, who the fuck is this old timer? How the fuck does he just know everything? So, okay, we gotta remember this chatter. Ding. Ding was getting a little roasted in chat too. <laughs> Here comes the pro! <laughs> They already know about thing in chat. Amateurs? Can you do better? 
<laughs> oh, he's telling the chatters like, yo, he's not just getting hit for nothing. Ding actually sees and he's like, no, nah, this is all strategy. Now what? <laughs> Okay. Look at his fucking head! Is this worth it? Yo! The adrenaline kicked in and now it's gone. Wait, we just left? It's, it's, it's an investment into our video. Even if the video doesn't pay off to hospital bills, I think it's still a dub, but damn. So we basically just took a bunch of hits. And then... We left because the other guy couldn't throw punches anymore. Did we get the phone at least? Did we fucking get the phone? Alright, we got it! I agree. Did you take a bath? I mean, with the, don't say. <laughs> Yo, even his chat is fucking watching. They know that he was trying to get his phone for his girl. Bro, stop! Snapper wouldn't stop him because he's content break because he realizes if he fucking takes that, more ridiculous is going to happen. More people are going to start watching. Girl in the yellow jacket that we've been seeing behind the classroom that was jumping up whenever there was a crowd, right? So I think she's going to join our operation too based on the opening, I think. Viral hit. One million views this week. God damn. Four videos total 25 million. Look at these thumbnails. Someone mugged me. So I gave him dot 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 a good talking to. I totally got mugged. Oh my god. These thumbnails, bro. The captions. Yeah. Oh shit. How much? Two million yen? So let me do the currency conversion right now. So hold hold up, hold up. Two million yen to USD. So roughly that's like um twelve thousand US dollars. So uh twenty thousand two million yen. Twelve thousand. Twenty-five million views. So if it was two million views, that's an RPM of one dollars per thousand views, two million results into two thousand. If we scale up that to 25 million, he should be making 25,000, but he's only making 12K. Well, there's the niche, there's the watch time, there's all these different factors that goes into calculating the overall revenue you get from YouTube. Plus there's like the tax, but this is a little bit on the lower side, yeah. Yeah, it's honestly pretty good for your first payment, right? Yes. Clicking on a video, while that is important, the most important thing is the mid rules that appear while watching the video. So, and a more important analytic, right? People think that views are everything, and it kind of is, but I would say watch time is more important than the views because the more longer someone watches the video, let's say we have two separate videos. One video for a 40 minute reaction where I'm doing schizo fucking, let's say I'm doing an Annie News Tensor review. People fucking love that shit. They'll watch the fucking entire thing versus a one minute clip of me just yelling at somebody. Even if that one minute video and the 40 minute video has like the same views, the 40 minute video will probably pay like four to five times more. That's how important it is to have these ads being inserted into the videos. Watch time is very important. Another interesting thing to know about the ad revenue is, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, it's, so, Seasonal things matter. People talk, I'm not sure how many of you guys noticed, but the lowest amount a YouTuber will earn throughout the year is most likely going to be on January. Because January is when all the holidays have been done and there's no major corpa holiday coming up. The next big holiday or event that happens is Valentine's. And these seasonal events really drives up advertisers. Advertisers basically, um, only the, the amount that they spend to show up on a video, it differs on the seasons. And the more times that you have, let's say, Boxing Day, Christmas, you know, Black Friday, all these different events to really drive the people to spend, that's when the advertisers go hard. And that's why you'll see more money made off of your videos and your RPM will increase. You don't really have control over that. It's just very fluctuating. All you can really try to do is make sure that people watch the videos. But after that, it's just like a seasonal thing. You have no kind of control. It just depends on the different holidays that's happening and how much the advertisers are willing to spend per advertisement. It is very deep. YouTube is extremely deep. Oh, who is this? Yep. 
Yeah. Gold digger. 70k subs? Was she not at 5k in episode 1? Also, this bitch. Oh, what's everyone looking at? Look at this corn dog and look at the ketchup right on her titty. You think that's a mistake? I don't think so. I think this is extremely calculated. And the audience is going to be like, oh, it's over there. You got to lick it up. Oh, oh, it's on my booba. Oh, I didn't know. You have ketchup on you. She put it there herself. What lipsticks do you use? The Rumi is the devilish type. Yeah, she's live streaming. Just eating a fucking corn dog, bro. Money. Money. That's what she's fucking feeling. <laughs> Come back here. Wait. <laughs> new drip? Yo, new drip? 140,000. Fuck it. Fuck it. We ball. <laughs> Who's he buying this for? Himself or Hoven right now? Spent his entire monthly paycheck on this. With what money? Very true. I think this is kind of highlighting how stupid um, uh, creators, when they have such viral success and they've never known how much money they can make, what they should be doing is investing it, right? They should be putting it into a high yield savings account for an emergency fund. Then the rest should be going to a tax shelter account where then you can invest into safe index you know, funds, ETFs, to make sure that you're investing into the S&P 500 and your wealth is growing at roughly like 6 7% you know, average throughout the 20, 30 years. So you can retire one day and you'll have so much money in the bank account such that you pull out the amount each year and to survive without a job and the account will generate the money to offset that. That's like what's called being financially independent. Everyone has some kind of random number. It could be a million, two million, but everyone's goal for retirement is to hit that where the amount you take out to survive near when you can't work anymore the account will be generating with interest later on. But some people like Snapper, they don't give a fuck. They're willing to blow their entire monthly paycheck. And you know what? When you're a kid, when you're a teenager, you don't really think about like retirement. I was like that shit too. When I'm in college and I'm like working a part-time job, bro, I get like an $800 paycheck after working as a barista for like a, a, a half a week or some shit. You know what that 800 went? Straight into fucking gotcha games. I straight up just wailed and I was like, <laughs> look it up, bitches, let's fucking go. But like back then, my perception of like, how long can I work? Is my body going to last that long? What about retirement? I never thought about that shit, right? I'm just fucking bawling out. And that's what Snapper's doing. Better be careful with that money because that success could disappear just like that. Boomy! <laughs> Bomi. Today's episode was something called date, right? So, Bomi, what you gonna be wearing? <laughs> <laughs> Bro was like, nah, I gotta be responsible with my money. I'm getting out. Gets a text from Bomi. Oh shit, one jacket for me, please. But like, if Bomi is truly the girl, she would never be impressed at jackets like this because Bomi is looking at you for who you are. Not for your clothes, your drip, the wealth that you have. It should be for you, right? But we'll see. You didn't have to buy it. You fucking caved into the societal pressures. What's Bomi wearing though? No, I don't think Bomi is a gold digger. I don't think so. Huh, is it going to be a date? I don't know. Maybe they'll go into... It'd be interesting if they delved into the topic of YouTube where you got to focus on a niche and the moment that your audience is expecting a certain type of content, then you give them something else. For example, he's doing fighting content, but the moment that the stream is about a live date, your audience may not give a fuck unless they're truly like bonded some kind of like... They, they have like a community there already. Pretty much. Oh, shit. Yeah. Let's fight those guys bad mouthing you. Now that'd be fun. Any hater, <laughs> come fucking fight me. Gold digger? I don't trust these girls, bro. I don't trust them. <laughs> Why are you here? 
When did you sh Why are you right behind us? What the fuck? Why? He's so fucking tall. He's so fucking handsome. God damn it. Jimin's so hot. Where are you now? Ah, oh, such a great face. Even as a man, I admit, he's good looking. I mean, look at him, bro. He looks like he could be in a fucking K-drama. Don't worry, you got us. <laughs> Vlogger and YouTuber G1, 170k subs. God damn. Damn. He shines so gloriously. There's no way to beat this guy. <laughs> it looks like he's jelly of G1. Oh, boy. Konnichiwa. Bomi! His eyes lit up there. Look at these eyes. This is actually fucking scary. Maybe this is Bomi right here. Maybe this is Bomi, yeah? Ooh. This is why Bomi is the one. She ain't a gold digger. Hoban folded, right? Hoban saw a girl running in him and said, Oh, can I take a selfie? And he's like, Oh, it's like, oh shit, it's someone else. But Bomi immediately, nah, I got plans with someone else. Not really yet. Yo, is that a matching jacket? We're like a couple, bro. What the fuck? And you might think it's cringe, but like a lot of couples in Korea, they always have like matching clothes and stuff like that to kind of show like, you know, they're like a couple. Okay, so like people here are actually happy about this content. I thought they were going to talk about how no one's going to watch the stream because this is not about fights, but it looks like, damn, son, he got a girlfriend. He's here on a date. Whoa, can't miss the next part. Yo, this is the fucking halfway point. I thought the episode ended. This has already been a 30 minute reaction. I'm yapping way too fucking much, dude. <laughs> Yeah. But, but now, you got Bomi, maybe? <sighs> what he's saying is not really that wrong. Oh. The strong. The truly strong. Yeah, get the fuck out of my. <laughs> he's doing the exact same pose, dude. <laughs> you need to use polite, clean language. He seems like an actual fucking Giga Chat. This seems like the actual protagonist of this show, bro. He's humble on top of that, right? By the way, and he seems to be nice and well mannered. He's saying, like, don't fucking swear, bro. I mean, I didn't see didn't say don't fucking swear. That's kind of contradicting. But anyway, oh, that's right. It's a food chain, bro. The order, the hierarchy. Moonsong. <laughs> you got Bomi now, kind of. You. How the fuck did he bag Bomi? What, what, bro, this is... What they say, when you're in love, you know, you'll look at somebody and even if they look like really fucking ugly or something, you're gonna look like they look really good. Alright. Oh, oh, it's that girl again, yellow jacket! <laughs> one touch, dude, one touch! Yo, no shot! You're having a total Aoi fucking schizo fucking flashback into the future. Wait, he's thinking about his potential marriage with Bomi off of that one single touch. Schizo memories. Oh boy. Damn, important boss talking down to Hayashi. <laughs> Oh, I just happened to, you know, have your face flash and I just had to buy these flowers, Riz. Wait! What is this? <laughs> Y'all gotta fucking try this in real life. Take some fucking notes. This is corny and cringe as fuck, but honestly, it's kind of romantic in a very creative and dumb way, bro. <laughs> There's this flower right in front of me right here. <laughs> this shit's so dumb, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, dad. Oh, uh, and we're back to reality. Actual schizo. Are you really? Yeah, off of one single touch with the hand. Hmm. She seemed not too happy about that. I don't know. <laughs> See, couple stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm not a girl. I can't speak for them, but some girls do only go for super tall guys. And, you know, height is like something we can't control. You're just the fucking cards you were dealt, you know? This kind of sucks. <gasps> the fuck she's growling? <laughs> I don't think she cares about that superficial shit. Nah, put your jacket back on. You're same Z's right now. Come on, bro.
This is very interesting. There's a lot of moments where Bomi's like deep in thought and there's like no monologue or anything. And like, I want to believe that she's not a gold digger. I want to believe that she's an actual good, genuine person that sees Hoven for what he is rather than the fame, the wealth, the whatever, the clout right now. But there are some times where it, the show makes us guess like, what is actually going on with this character? How does she actually think? <laughs> Cool, one for the Instagram. Bro, you took the jacket off? Bro spent 140k fucking yen for this and just took it off because some random said something. Bro, she's trying so hard. She probably thinks that she's boring him, right? This is a situation where Hoban is so insecure and nervous and embarrassed about who he is because of his superficial comments. But you know what Bomi's thinking right now? She's probably trying to live in the moment. She's trying to see, like, are you having fun with me? And, like, he's being all like this. And she's probably thinking, damn, I guess he's not interested in me at all, huh? I'm gonna leave. The same fun, though. Come on! How are you gonna lose this? This is the fumble of a lifetime! Wait. <laughs> The honest thoughts are coming out. Wait! Nervous shy boy Riz! It might work. This soundtrack is playing too. This song is playing in the background too. It's gotta work. Tell her everything! Be genuine! That's fine! Alright, alright. This is the comeback of a life though. I don't know how we're doing it right now. I thought we just got fucking swept 3-0. But we're getting the reverse fucking sweep. <laughs> Nervous shy boy Riz! thought about the positioning of the chairs to make sure that she wouldn't sweat. This is crazy. This is insane. I've never seen mechanics like this in the history of anime. No, I think you just clutched. I think you actually just clutched. Bomi is done. Yellow jacket girl still stalking. Mm, friend for now. Don't get ahead of yourself. Hold up. This childhood friend from grade school better not be a hot guy. I swear to God, what if it's like Moonsung? And yes, the Japanese name, the Korean subtitles is uh, different. Um, basically, I've noticed that like a lot of the times, like even like, no, in solo leveling, Jin Mu was just called Jin Mu, right? But sometimes there is like a different, you know, translation. Anyways, I think, what if Moonsung is the, uh, you know, grade school Friend, I, I hope it's not. I, I hope it's not. Please, please. Please, we were talking to Moonsung too much today. Okay, what's his name? He likes the strawberry parfait. I can't imagine Moonsung eating that. You go to the same school. Same class? What does he do? Does he do MMA? Moonsung! Ah! Look, 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 look. I think that Moonsung is a good guy, and I think that Bomi and Moonsung got nothing, they're childhood friends, and we don't need to be worried about getting cucked. I doubt that he has his intentions, and we're all in our heads. We, we cannot compete with this dude. Everything but Bomi! We got Bomi, I think. Wait. Round two, schizo, you know, future memories, but we're getting cucked. Oh no, are we gonna walk in and Bomi's getting backshot by Moonsong right now? No. It's the exact repeat. The kid! The kid! The kid again! Tell us to wake up! Nah. I think we're overthinking this. I doubt there's anything like that between Pomi and Moonsung. And our insecurities by living like a loser all our life is making us jump to conclusions and this is just in our head. Hey, not really, no. Never really talked to him. Don't lie! He's gonna show up and who the fuck is that? There's Tatsuya or Moonsung. Same thing! <laughs> Goddamn fucking 
jacket? What is this? A triple date? Yo, what's up, big bro? Uh, they haven't even seen each other in a long time. Uh, please, bro. Please, bro. Come on, help us out. Please. Moonsa, please. That is the episode. And I think that maybe, I hope that Moonsong is quick with it and is like, you know what? I mean, I don't really hate Hoban. He seems like he's just trying to look good in front of Bomi. So maybe I'll help him out. Or Moonsong will be like, nah, I don't know this guy. And then Bomi's like, what the fuck? You lied to me? And then everything crumbles. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I doubt that Bomi and Moonsong have anything like that. I think they're really just good childhood friends. And Hoban's basically mentality of living like such a quote unquote loser has got him to convince himself that he's getting cucked right now. I mean, he already had a fucking future flashback, right? So it's like <sighs> looking pretty fucking bad. Aside from that, the beginning part of this, we don't know how to fight just yet, but at least we can take like punches and we know how to weave and basically we can tire out the opponent, which is great. If only we can learn how to strike. There is some also very good, you know, um, I, I think there's a lot of relatable content here for me when they talk about like ad revenue, how content creators, when they find a new fame, they're quick to blow their fucking money, leeching content, right? Stuff like this is very fun to me. And then finally, just the Bomi and Hobian thing. I think that Bomi is a good girl. I don't think that she's a gold digger. I think she actually genuinely is interested in Hoban for what he is. I don't even know what the fuck she sees in him, but she does. And the nervous shy boy is work, but I think that we might fuck it. Just, you know, I, uh, we might choke. We might choke that next episode, but that's for next episode. If you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.